Hey everyone, it's Jim Phoenix here. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. It is another exciting episode with my co-host Evangeline. God damn you. Did I say the name correctly? No. <laughs> Fucking hell. Lynn. Evangeline. Not Lynn. Oh, I purposely tried to do it correctly. All right. <clears throat> we, we know what? Fuck this. We're recutting this one. <clears throat> Jim Phoenix here. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today, with my awesome co-host, Evangeline. Yay! This definitely is not take 12, just trying to say her name. Definitely not that at all. We welcome you to another exciting episode of Streaming Demons. Not to be confused with Semen Demons, which is the other channel. Sorry. So, we, the concept is us two against the world, us two plus one, and our plus one couldn't make it today. It was traffic, it was the 316, the 905, the 702s, the 1512s, the 8580s, 5150s, and all sorts of in between. Couldn't make it, so we do have someone kind of in the wings as a surprise, even to Evie, guest, speaker, host, guest something, whatever guess something. But to begin with, remember our format today, we're talking about something new, something borrowed, and something blue. So something new, meaning new to a streaming service like Amazon or Netflix or Shutter. Something borrowed means you have to borrow it. Back in the day, that meant like giving some money over to the girl at the video store or the check out at the drugstore because a lot of video stores and drugstores back in the day and they would give you a video and that's borrowing it you have to return it and then something blue well evie's ghost ship tab diet ghost ship thing i didn't say it blue but <laughs> yeah or just something like old on tubi like something very old you know can can happen uh so we'll get get into it as our super secret guest speaker is trying to get his butt next to mine, I'll, I guess I'll move over a bit. I will start saying, Evie, it's been a long time, at least 20 minutes since we talked to each other last so for a different podcast. How have you been? Oh, I've been great. Who cares? That's how she's been. Who cares? <laughs> you didn't think that I would let you do this alone did you jimbo uh, i was kind of hoping ah, ha, there's no way uh, why can't you just drug his beer drug my beer darling my beer comes drugged already if i wasn't on beer drugs you guys made a whole hell of a lot of pain and you know that's me the doctor is wait which show is this oh, who cares what are you guys talking about uh we were talking about something blue, I guess, that summoned you, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, so, Evie, thank you about very much, Dr. Payne, for joining us. No problem, Jimbo. And uh, Evie, who wants to go first on our little triage of terror? Anyone? Uh, Evie, all right, thank God. Yeah. Come yeah. on, Papa Shango, you can do it. Uh, True Seekers. That was my uh, what kind of seeker? TV show thing. Tube True seekers. seekers. They all from Kentucky. Tube Seekers. <laughs> Aren't they from like Oklahoma or something? Oklahoma. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Get it, Jimbo? Tooth. She's seeking the tooth. 
I'm too good for you guys. Go ahead, Papa Shango. If that is your real name. So the show is about a guy who works as an internet dude. Who, as an internet dude? Yes. Wait, <laughs> He's a magic guy who comes out and gives you internet or fixes your internet or cable. I've seen that guy that gives people internet. Oh, that was herpes. Sorry. Internet. Uh, that, that's, 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 uh, I don't know. Allegedly. No, uh, no, you're right. Wrong movie. Completely. So and, he gives internet. Yeah. Yep. And he's training a new guy. And he's a new guy who just goes through jobs like nobody's business. Wait, the new guy. I love that. Look, DJ Quail. Oh, that shit's that awesome. Means. The new guy. You don't know the new guy. Jim, what the hell kind of staff you have? Like, dude, not everyone knows. Not everyone knows, but the cool people know. The new guy. Jesus Christ. I'm getting a beer. Sorry about oh that. God. I think it's like two minutes to talk. Interruption. Okay, so yeah, uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are in it. They're actually separate mm. most of the episodes, which I found really kind of odd at first because on all the movies I watch them in their dynamic is yeah. one of the things I was looking forward to there's like you but, box but their <laughs> characters work fine separate like it's enjoyable and yeah, all the beer. actors go work on their own uh, Nick Frost usually hangs out with the new guy that he is trying to uh, teach the ways of internetness What's the new guy's name? Just curious. It is new guy because I can't remember names, and you're oh, lucky I remember Nick Frost. No, see, okay, no, no I didn't mean an actor. I, I, I actually, I'm fortunate. Don't know the actor. I don't have the uh, IMDb's. I don't know names either. But what's his character's name? Are you sure you? Oh, Elton this John. One? That's Jim, right. You stole this one from me, and you don't even remember the character's name. Jesus I forgot Christ. that he was because he used to be the Oh. Oh, he, spoilers, motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn it. You did this. We you are beeping this. this out. We are beeping that one out. Yeah. What'd you do, Jimbo? I'll tell you it's like a rich motherfucker. Stop <laughs> that shit. Whatever he knew is like Elton John. Like, come on, he's like a dude. Yeah, okay, a dude. Don't even know what that is. What the, what the fuck does that even mean? He's a dude. Yeah, so he's training Elton John to be an internet dude, and they're like totes, best buds, and Malcolm McDowell is a grandpa dad mm. dude. Well, he's real, he's always old, so I guess he's not a grandpa. He's just a dad. Malcolm? Oh, it is Malcolm. I thought, oh, oh who was the one inside uh, Groundhog Day? Andy McDowell. Yeah, that... that Oh, uh, awesome actress, kind of southern. She was in Groundhog Day because I just mentioned it. I don't uh, like Groundhog nice. Day. I've only seen it like once or something. We need to keep it on repeat. That's how it works. You've not seen the movie then. But I, I, I digress. And before he finds his way back from the, the beer fridge, so it there he's training a dude to be internet too. So how is this scary though? Oh. So they get 5G speeds <gasps> because 5G causes COVID. Oh my God. No, 5G speeds like ghosts. They ghosts. make ghosts come out. <laughs> or rather, the ghosts stop you from getting attaining 5G speeds. And so it's up to them to like destroy the ghosts and stuff. So they are like the Ghostbusters of Cox communication. I don't uh, what do you guys have Cox? Is. No, we oh. have AT and T. Oh yeah, well I'm pretty sure that's just uh, just how uh, the internet is for you. Comcast. Comcast, that's California. Okay, Cox is uh, Las Vegas. Oh okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you guys have yeah. Comcast in Canada? Comcast sucks. No, we have like Videotron and Bell. Oh. Shay Videotron. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, and Rogers. Hello. My name is Rogers. No. Uh, God, what were we talking about? So they, they're, but they bust ghosts because they are trying to install Wi Fi and they can't install Wi Fi because the ghosts are there. 
I mean, without spoilers, is that the best we can? Uh, they just travel from place to place, installing Wi-Fi, trying to get the world to a hundred percent. Oh well, shit! That that that's good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, I think they're in like Ireland or something, right? The the good go down. Wait until the grid go down. Yeah, it's all the same place. Ireland and Scotland. The, the, the Britain? Set, New Britain? <laughs> Fuck you talking about? I'm not good with geography. Uh, you know, New New Wales? Maybe. Scott Artica? You know, that place? <laughs> Scott Artica. The shit. Uh, okay, they're, we'll just say UK. Unless you meant like Ireland instead of Northern Ireland. But you know, who actually means Northern Ireland? Never. Sorry, guys. Love ya. No. Um, okay, cool. No, so, and this is like, what kind of, okay, so this is on Amazon Prime. And yeah. how many seasons do you know? Uh, when I watched it, there was only one season out. Okay. Yeah, no, I, when I was watching, I didn't know if there was multiple ones either because I was, I'm still watching through the first season. I, I've gotten, not apparently as far as you have. I, um, spoiler yeah. alert. I yeah. am sorry. I am sorry. It's okay. I mean, it's not like it was not like a major spoiler, but um, I'm like, like, oh my god, he's white. He's he's white the entire time. No, um, yeah, that, that's cool. It's, it's that's very very cool. Now, who is this audience? Because I I couldn't figure this out. At first, it was PG thirteen. It was thirteen plus, and then the last one I saw was sixteen plus, which is creeping towards an R. That's weird. Um... I guess as the episodes go on, I do know it gets a little bit more violent graphic. In a yeah, way. maybe that's but, what it was. Yeah, because there's not like, there's no sexy times. There's no talk about spoilers. Drug use. <laughs> I don't, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, that's the only thing I was watching. for like, man, I hope I see Nick Frost have sex with Simon Pegg once. Just once. I'm sorry, they don't. It's, it's my bingo card. Damn it, maybe next time. Oh, wow. Spoilers. Spoilers. No, it's all good. So would you recommend this one? Oh, yeah. Like. Oh, my God. You would recommend this one. Cool. Yeah, it's no ghost ship. No, wait. Uh, what, ghost ship light. I can't remember. Lost Voyage. That was the one I watched. The Lost Boys? I love the Lost Boys. That's on Shudder. Is it Last really the Lost checked. Boys? Last I checked, yeah, they uploaded uh, it to Shudder. Holy shit. Cool. Maybe that'd be my next one. Uh, so how many Cthulhu's out of five? He uh, said, not knowing his own fucking site. <laughs> oh. I'd probably give it like a solid four. Solid four. I'll give you a solid four. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ooh, that's a soft burn, wasn't it, dude? <laughs> and the sad thing is, I don't know if he meant me or you. <laughs> so we just got, we'll get, we'll get to each. We'll get to each. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. Um, well, well, solid four. That's pretty good. Uh, great. So, oh boy, I want to say who wants to go next. Uh, I'll go next. I'll go next. <laughs> Cut the motherfucker off. So for mine, I have something new, and my thing for new was New Mutants. So I took it literally. I thought it had to have the word new in the title. I'm like, what the fuck? I have the new. No wait, I'm borrowed. Damn it. Damn it. I'm Oh, I stepped on my joke. Uh, the Borrowed was New Mutants. And this is a movie I've been waiting for a long time to see. I, I think it's been in post-production for like, I'm not honestly joking here. I, I think it's been like a four or five years in post. <laughs> because Damn. they kept like botching the release date. Like, next year, next year, next year. Ah, this is Monday. why I don't follow release dates online. I saw the tra- I saw the trailer for a movie like three years ago. Like, oh my god, this looks kind of cool. Uh, and they just kept like, we need to re-edit the editing. Well, I'm gonna sum this up on the keywords, the plot keywords. It's mutant, X Men, and blonde. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, uh, what's the nicest thing we can say about this movie? A, a blonde girl's in it, I guess. Blonde? Like, what the fuck? That's your keywords? 
like IMDb, that wasn't like some fan doing it. Someone sitting paid a lot of money to think about how to sell this movie. And they're like, it's got that blonde girl, Ileana Rasputin on it. Oh, okay. So, here's the thing. It is a weird... It's, you, you spot a strangle the fucking writer. <laughs> I hate to say this. Uh, this one's, who wrote this one? Who wrote this one? Okay, this one's on you. Leggy girl, Christ's sakes. A plot keyword is leggy girl. That's the other one. <laughs> Y'all fucking failed. I'm so sorry. Who, who wrote this? I don't like calling people up, but Josh Boone, you know better. You too, Nate Lee. Uh, Sorry, I don't, maybe it's just the way they cut it up. I, I don't know. It, it just seemed, it seemed like they wanted to go dark and then they didn't go dark enough because they wanted a PG-13 rating and how, how can you go really dark for PG-13? And they're like, well, we'll make a lesbian romance, but not really. Oops, sorry, spoiler alert, but it happens in the first, <laughs> first five fucking, a uh, big romance, but it happens in the first, first five minutes of the movie and it's kind of obvious anyway. It's like, uh, and then we'll get, we'll get like uh, someone who's hot, like property and hot topic. We'll get uh, Maisie Williams in it, and she'll do something, sort of, and then that's it. And it took like four or five years, and these people are like actually old enough to be in the new version of the X-Men. Like, they're all old now. But it's, it's, okay, if you, do you read comic books? Yes, yes, I, well, I have actually, haven't for a while, but I have a crap ton of them. Okay, good, that's cool. If I just gave you some Marvel thing, could you go like, oh, I know this one. The like random me. Marvel. Okay. Colossos. Nope. Damn. <laughs> oh, for one. Jesus Christ. Uh, I can't say anything else without spoiling it. There's, there's an obvious one that you all know. If you spend six minutes into the movie, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, I know exactly what this is. Uh, but Colossus was the dude that can turn his skin into impenetrable metal. Huh? Oh, big I know Russian who that dude. Is. Big Russian dude. Yeah. He's in the. He's actually in one of the X Men movies. Deadpool. He was in one yeah. of the. Yes, Deadpool. he's a, he's in he's also in both Deadpools. Yeah, the the the, the pie. His sister's in this one, Ileana. and Ileana's backstory was so damn interesting, and she could have her own fucking movie. And I really wish they would have done that. <laughs> and then you think the movie's going to be about Maisie's character because she's like in every damn promo. Yeah, it's not. No, not even close. They're like, uh, they're there. They're semi-fleshed out characters. Not really. It, it's very, uh, God, no, I sound like you last time. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like if Dark Phoenix was a tab. It's like Dark Phoenix light. And I'm sorry, I know most people didn't like Dark Phoenix. Uh, if you didn't like Dark Phoenix, you ain't gonna like this one. Uh, I, and I wanted to really like it, and it had moments where you could like it, and the acting, the acting is there. It's just, um, God, damn it. He had so much, it's a comic book movie. How the fuck do you fuck the writing up? Just take it from the comic book, say, here, say this shit, we'll stage it. You're done. Yeah, apparently that was like two fucking far up for them. They had to do some bullshit. <sighs> and then the, the poster is uh, whoever playing was like, Anna Taylor Joy is doing a little snarl. She's doing the Tyler Hero snarl. And fuck you, Tyler Hero, if you're watching this or listening to this podcast. Fuck yourself. Who won, boy? The Lakers are you? Oh, Lakers burnt your ass, motherfucker. That's right. Don't you ever forget that shit. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, it's it's on streaming. I got it from Amazon. Yeah, I got it from Amazon Prime. I, I rented it. It's like six bucks Canadian. And I think it was like for three ninety nine. I've been like, eh, 99 cents too much. It's like three bucks. I could have said, yeah, it's a good movie for three bucks. Six bucks, I'm like, ah, damn it. No, sorry. <laughs> like even six bucks Canadian, I'm like, ah, it's not worth it. I'm sorry. And I, and I, I came in wanting to watch this one. You know, you can actually ask, he who should not be named if I want to watch this. All I talked about is like, oh, new moons this, new moons that. Blah, 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 blah. Colossos. Yeah, thanks, man. I have a question for you, Jim. 
Yes. Does knowing that new mutants are very likely in the same universe as Deadpool, the Deadpool movies, make the movie any better? No. <laughs> no. No. You, you think it would. And that's a good question. You, you, you think like, oh, maybe something cool would be here. And knowing that Marilyn Madsen's in the movie. Marilyn Madsen? Make it, it, it's a cameo. But yeah. Uh, that's not a spoiler. I'm just reading an IMDb. That didn't even make it better. Like this, there's like a Zack Snyder director's cut of this that makes it topple, terrible movie, like an actual movie of people whose backstories you give a shit about and who are fully fleshed out characters other than complete caricatures of a fucking comic book, which is a character of herself at this point. I think, yeah, that'd be great. Could Deadpool do something with these characters? No. <laughs> Like, uh, no, I, God, uh, like, and, and then they could have a New Mutants two. I don't know if it did well enough to do a two. They set it up for a sequel. I <laughs> go look at that one, right? Yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I mean, this is what they're saying. Goofs. Several of the cast members' accents changed during the film. <laughs> like, the, just like it's like I don't know if it's the writing. Or just the editing, or someone fucked this up horribly. It's just, oh, this is the the user review I'm reading from IMDb from Rolf Meow. Worse than I expected. I went with low expectations, and yet I still left disappointed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, none of the accents in the movie, and this one guy spoke from the south, but it's kind of like, howdy y'all, I'm from the south. I'm like Jesus Christ, it's like a, almost a hee haw accent. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, it's called yeah. method acting, Govna. Govna. Cheerio. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's this thing the guy ends up with just bad, bad waste of your time. Watch literally anything else. Go for a walk, play with your dog, live life. Don't watch this. And 217 people of 290 found it helpful for that review. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. But he hits it all, this guy hits it all the point. Like the backstories are just kind of like there, like, oh, it's exposition, here you go. And everything you just, you, it's kind of like, here you go, who is this shit? Fuck you, take it. And it took so long. This is what I'm wondering. It took so long to get out. Maybe some of the issues all fucking post. Maybe it's all edit. Maybe on the, on the editing room floor, which is an awesome movie, but what came out is sure to fuck down an awesome movie. I, I think they're thankful. If, if anything, if anyone wanted to know the people who were like praying for COVID, uh, it was Maisie Williams and Taylor Joy and Charlie Heaton saying, please, God, please may this movie never come out. And God's like, oh, I can do that. Fucking COVID world. No, I'm not saying they're praying for COVID, but. Honestly, with the new mutants, this is really funny. Uh, it's actually been in theaters for forever, ever since COVID, because like the drive in that we have by. Oh, really? They did it in yeah. drive-in too. I thought it just went like VOD. No, it was in the drive-in. I know because every freaking time I went to the drive-in, that movie was still playing. And it was like one of, there, I feel like there wasn't really that many movies playing. And that one was always very prominent on the screen. I, they like, I think they had a couple different screens dedicated to it because I don't know if they just didn't have anything else to play or if it was really popular at the time. Well, this, yeah, I, I, I try to get it here, but it, it just wouldn't, it honestly wouldn't, like, I, I, we don't have any drive-in theaters here, unfortunately. Las Vegas used to have them. They still do. Um, and, and it's a matter of God. I, I, I can't even tell you. I, I, I haven't even seen them do publicity for this movie. Like in the last couple of years, they did it when at first they thought it was going to come out, and then like you know, Game of Thrones was still kind of on. And after that, I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. So I I wanted to give this a high Cthulhu rating myself, and I'm giving it a mercy kill. At uh, because I did watch the entire thing, and it was entertaining in parts 
And I'm feeling very soft because I just said the entire cast pray for COVID to happen so they don't have to do publicity for this film. I'm going to give it a three, a low three, a low three though. Like it could very well have been a 2.5, but I'm giving it a low three out of five Cthulhu's. Don't rent it. Save your fucking dough. Wait for it to Netflix it. it. It's worth for Netflix, put it that way. And, uh, oh God. All right, so we have one movie left, and unfortunately, Dave's not here. So that means, okay, man, just, uh, what does it mean, Jimbo? Uh, you know what it means, man. Come on. What? Say it. Oh, I know he wants me to say. I'm not going to do it. Come on. I'm not going to fucking do it. Come on, Jimbo. Ah, fuck. Fine, fine. Pain, will you please, please come guest star on our podcast? Because oh, my God. That, uh, <laughs> that was going in a completely different direction than I thought it was going. Which way would you think it was going? Let's, let's not go there. Let's just continue. No, no, no. Let's go there. Which way do you think? <laughs> come on, Papa Shango. Well, you're just like he was already on here so i thought okay he's gonna be on here and then it's like hey will you please come and then it just come <laughs> papa saying just want me to come come where you show um, i'll spray oh wait hold on i don't know man jim was the one asking uh -uh. you know one shot at this but of course if you want to be saved, I guess that's what I'm doing is saving your sorry ass podcast one more time. Number one ratings. Here we go. Cue the music. Where's my thunderstruck from ACDC? What am I supposed to do? What is it? It's, it's like a movie thing. What right, What movie? Like, um, I don't know. Like Netflix, I guess? No, wait. Wait, wait. Not Netflix. Yo, wait. Evie did, uh, I almost said Star Search. Uh, Prime, Truth Seekers, I, Truth Seekers uh, yeah. and Prime. I did a movie I had to read from New New Mutant, so that means uh, pain you blow. I <laughs> see it. I get. I set that one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow. So is your mother. So I got this one. Something really old. Blow to be or not to be. That is the question. I got this movie. You're gonna love it. Everyone loves this one. It's got mummies. It's got JFK. It's just JFK and a mummy. And of course, everyone's hero, except for apparently Favorite Flav and Chuck D. Elvis was a hero to many, but that motherfucker didn't mean shit to me either. So I'm with you, Flav. Baba Hotep. It's a story about this man who isn't Elvis. And no, sorry, he is the real Elvis that is fighting demons and Nazis and mummies and werewolves and Mexicans. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. That's Richard Christie. Hold on, what's this one about? Right, this one is about Bubba Hotep. So it is Elvis and JFK team up in an old folks home to take on a mummy. Anyone see it before? It kind of sounds familiar, but chances are it was a different, like, maybe My Name is Bruce or something. A different JFK Elvis movie? Really? Really, Papa Shango? It was a different one of those. Uh, no, I, I, I think I've seen it before, too. And this is the one with uh, Bruce Campbell in it, right? Yeah, Bruce is the man. Bruce Campbell. Yeah, you lollygagging sons of bitches. But it is brilliant writing. The way Bruce makes Elvis come alive. I mean, the motherfucker's been dead for years, so having him come alive is even better. And the whole spooky, spooky Bruce Campbell, evil dead Ash, gonna come in, chick, chick, bam, boom, bam. Explosions all over. I actually can't remember the movie that much. Uh, I, I might be conflating things between Burn Notice and uh, Evil Dead right now. But uh, yeah, JFK is black. I said it. I know, I know. It's all black and white TV until until it went. Uh, yeah, 
Who knew? Who knew? JFK is black. That's, that's what I took away from this movie. But it's exciting. It's well written. It's smart. It's gory. It's gross. It's action packed. And it's funny and kind. And 2020, you need funny and kind sometimes. I know Dr. Payne saying it, so it must be true. I give this 15 out of 25, 100 million Cthulhu's. Must see. See it now. End this tape. I demand it. Where's my beer? Well, uh, Jesus, that's, that's a lot of Cthulhu's. Uh, but out of like five, maybe. <laughs> maybe a fewer than 1,500 million? Out of five. Out of, of how many? Uh, five. Evie, we do five, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, Please see. read your articles. <laughs> well, then again, that's all the 13 days of Krampus. Th- days of Krampus? What the hell is that? Oh my God, you don't know the Krampus? Krampus is where you- You participated in it. My man, a Krampus is when you drink shit's bleer and you get like that Krampus going on and you need to empty out in the toilet bowl. Right, Evie? That's what the Krampus is. I, I, I think that's, that's not I will never Krampus. forgive Dave for this. Dave? <laughs> Dave is not here. <laughs> but I am. Here. That's all you ever need. Every podcast should be Dr. Payne this, Dr. Payne that. Let's face it, your rating slid until you have to get me to prop your asses back up again as the awesome pyramid I am of awesomeitude. And that's why the next movie you should do is about my movie, Dr. Payne Kicks Bubba Hoshap's Ass, starring moi, Dr. Payne, and of course, probably Bruce Campbell because, you know, let's face it. He's got the Elvis in this again. And the other guy was playing JFK's dad, so fuck it. Maybe I'll play JFK. There you go. But if you want to do, I guess, Cthulhu's out of five, I'm giving Baba Hotep my doctor is in stamp of approval. Five out of five. That's it. I said it. If I was taking a tag team through other movies, I would definitely take team Bruce Campbell. Wait, hold on. Wait, that, that sounds weird. I would definitely tag team this movie and just like, yeah, tag in. We'll sl- body slam Sharknado a bit. Best movie ever, Sharknado. But second best movie ever, tied for the first burst movie ever, ever, ever. Baba Hotel. The end. Microphone drop. I'm getting some beer. Some mega deaf beer because Box ain't here to. Oh, we can't say mega deaf beer on the air. Oh, yeah, watch this. Megadeth beer, Megadeth beer, na da 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 da. I'm gonna get some Megadeth beer. Later, can we Taylor say Megadeth beer on the air or no? I think we can. But Box always like edited pains out because I think it was like a sponsor thing. Oh. And they don't officially sponsor us, I guess. So. Um, rape is not our sponsor either. Rape is not our sponsor. And, if, and kids, if you're looking to get your mom or dad something for Christmas, Go to Redbubble and go to our little Redbubble site, and it's on our website, hauntedmontreal.com, and on our little store, and get the Rape is Not Our Sponsor. And while you're there, getting your mom a Rape is Not Our Sponsor coffee cup, why don't you get a mask that says Bloody Marys on it? Because nothing keeps away the COVIDs like the Bloody Marys. Yeah. Now, back to you. That, that's what I should buy you for Christmas, Evie. The Bloody Mary's mask. I think I really think I should. Yeah. Um, all right. So that was that was our podcast. Thanks for uh, he who should not be named. He's actually looking for a forty ounce mega enough beer. Um, thank God I, I hit it. It's like a little. It's like a kid. You just like hide shit over the house and tell him to go play for a bit. Um, I heard that. Okay. Well, maybe not. Um, but I would like to thank Evie, my generous co-host. What, we want to plug anything, Evie? Uh, plug your pile, Papa Shango. Do probably yeah, just it. plugging more of the dear Stabby because I like writing those articles, but it mostly doesn't happen without readers putting in some sort of input for me to answer. And where I love dear Stabby, I love it. It's a great thing. I'm so glad you're doing it. You're wonderful at it. Where do you, the readers? Uh, I'm a little gray in the head. Where do the readers give you suggestions or write into your stabby? Is that like a Twitter thing or is that a website thing? Do I send oh. smoke signals? Honestly, you can tweet it. Uh, you can tweet it at me or 
probably this website. What's Twitter. your What's your Twitter account? <clears throat> it's okay. It's at Evangeline <laughs> underscore the. Okay, and for those who don't know, us spell Evangeline. It's E V A N G E L I N E underscore the T H E or at Haunted MTL. The, either or, as long as you've got a tag, uh, Dear Stabby. It's a great column. I, I think Payne even loves it. I love Dear Stabby. You know what? I can't get enough of that fucking Dear Stabby. I was saying that the other day. I was saying, you know what? Dear Stabby and I should go out and do Payne Stabby. No, hold on. But I know I'm, I'm Josh, and I love Papa Shango's writing. Every time I see Papa Shango on a Twitter fest, I just like, that's a lot of twatting. Uh, she's got the best twattage. That's all I know. I, I, I'll follow that forever and ever and ever. Dear Stabby, 110%. Can I have my beer now? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you're fine. Well, wait, wait. Payne, you want to plug it? No, never mind. Fuck off. No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, for myself, I like to plug a thing that's uh, near and dear to my heart, and that is the uh, intercostals. No. Uh, <laughs> really? Okay, I, I can dig myself out of this joke. No, I, I like to plug random charities. Like, if, if yeah, listen to our podcast, watch our shit, woohoo. But if you do have extra dough, Ray, me, you don't have to give it to us. I would love you to give it to us. We're putting a, a, a Patreon and a Venmo up just so I can get some dough, Ray, me to help juice the website a bit. But if you have some extra, Give it to like one of the charities. Give it to one of the charities that Joe Bob Briggs is pushing. Give it to one of the four. I'll, I'll link them below. You know, give it to Trevor. Give it to Autism. Give it to uh, the, 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 you know what? Although there's a woman's legal and there's also the donkey one. I'll add one more up. The, the comic book defense fund. Uh, always good charity as well. Any of the cancer charities are really good. But give the small charities especially. Especially small charities if you can. They, they appreciate it. And I uh, just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Crazy Kwanzaa, all sorts of shit. And goodbye from me, Evie Evening. Anything, Evie? No, before? no goodbye. I, it's always sad when you end on a note that shows that you're a good person. Don't worry. We won't end on that. So anyways, as I was trying to tag team this, eh, time to go. Bye, everyone. No, Bye, Jimbo, wait. Bye. No, stop, Jimbo. No, mother.